So uh, the 6700 we came out with uh, first. This is one of our first radios right. in this lineup. And uh, it started that in such a way where this was really the black box kind of concept. So you had the Flex 6700 and then you would operate it from your PC. So uh, you have the software that runs on your Windows desktop running the 6700. And one of the things we found is that we had uh, a lot of people coming into our booth at trade shows and they were saying, well, yeah, I know this is the future. I know yeah. this is the way to go, but I, I just can't get there yet. Right. Yeah. They, they still wanted the knobs and the buttons. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So this is kind of how we got to Maestro. So yeah. we had the idea of, uh, of having knobs for our radio. And uh, we came up with this device uh, back in, I think, 2016. And this really was a game changer for us. Yeah. Because now people could approach this device, and it was something that they were familiar with and could understand. Uh, so this really brought people, as we say, across the carpet in the booth um, to talk to us. Now, what was interesting about that is we still found that it was too difficult of a purchase because it required two separate transactions. So you need to buy a radio and a maestro. And so the logical next step of that was to have uh, an integrated all-in-one solution. Mm -hmm. So that's how we came up with the 6400 and the 6600M. This is basically just one of these uh, style radios repackaged in a form factor where you can attach the maestro to the front. Mm -hmm. um, so the, it's actually uh, the exact same form factor. The 8-inch diagonal screen here is the same dimension as here has the same uh, knob and button uh, control interface, and the user interface is virtually identical. The only things that are different between uh, the Maestro and the M model are the things that are unique to uh, the specific packaging, right? So okay. like Maestro has on the back, you have, um, you have a mic input, a key input, uh, PTT, and uh, so you need to comprehend those different uh, connections. Right. Um, so those are really the only difference between the user interface. Okay, good. So you can get, but you were saying that most people walk out of the booth with the, uh, yeah. the 6400 or 6600 in the Maestro anyway? That's right. So okay. this, this was also a huge step forward for us for okay. people coming in and talking to us. This really is accessible. I mean, you, you pull it out of the box, you plug it in, you turn right. it on, and you're playing radio. You're ready to go. Very simple, right? And this is exactly what the customer was looking for. Uh, so this actually brings them across the carpet. They're talking to us now. But what, what ends up happening is many of them, most of them actually, end up with this configuration. So the non-M model with a Maestro. And uh, the reason why is because this has the additional flexibility. So you have uh, Wi-Fi built in. So you can bring it with you in the living room or your backyard or on the road with you. So we're fi finding that more people find that flexibility to be the desirable uh, you know configuration um, so that that that's really been a, a fun learning experience mm -hmm. as we've we've progressed through this lineup um, but it's really uh, one of the things we've seen is that we've actually been growing uh, significantly um, our adoption in the marketplace has uh, skyrocketed oh, that's since good. the release of these radios yeah so, yeah yeah because it's uh definitely yeah it's no longer dependent on a computer as it were right so like right. that one uh, was originally designed to be. So that's, that's exactly good. right. So yeah. this, no, you do not need a PC to operate this, or even with a Maestro. I mean, you, no. you don't need a PC. Mm -hmm. um, you may still want a PC if you're operating digital modes or that sort of thing, but this can operate completely independently. Mm -hmm. So you can do it either or. Yep, that's cool. right. Good. Well, until the next segment, that uh, was a good explanation of the current 6000 series lineup from Flex Radio. All right. This is, now tell me the model number on this thing again. So this is the Power Genius XL amplifier. Power Genius XL, okay, okay. And I'll get a couple of still shots and I'll overlay them in here somewhere. But this is a full legal limit network amplifier. So explain how that works first yeah. before you go into the breakdown. Well, one of the key, also key things about this amplifier is it's solid state. So we have two 1,500-watt uh, solid-state transistors in here. Okay. Uh, but it's a, a legal limit amplifier, all modes, all bands. And uh, it's network-based. So just like all of our radios, we mm -hmm. built them to be uh, operated over the network, to be remotable. Right. Okay, so they have an Ethernet uh, port on the back. Uh, when you put it in line with our radio, mm -hmm. uh, it, uh, the radio identifies as if it already has 1,500 watts. Huh. 
So it basically just shows up on your meter. It shows 1500 watts. Okay. Uh, it shows SWRI protection, you know, temperature, all that sort of thing. Uh, those meters just pop up when it's in line. Okay. Uh, so it, the radio just acts like it, it, it's just an extension of itself. Right. Okay. 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 So um, uh, one of the key things about this is that um, we, we do um, some very logical or, uh, or smart um, algorithms in this box where uh, we actually modify the efficiency of the amplifier based on the mode you're operating in. Okay. So um, you have a different efficiency that you or, uh, that you require on um, you know um, uh, you know RTTY than you do on uh, sideband that sort of thing. Of course, thing. yeah. So we okay. change the efficiency of the amplifier um, uh, based on the mode that you're operating in, and so it also has a very fast SWR um, protection and very rapid switching. Uh, we built it to be uh, a single operator two radio amplifier, so you can actually operate. Um, this along with one of our radios in an SO2R, just one radio, one uh, amplifier in an SO2R configuration. And then also with our new Multiflex tool, uh, our software coming out, that will allow two operators to use the same radio and amplifier at the same time. So that's, hmm. that's pretty compelling is that uh, right. that dramatically reduces the cost for two operators to get on the air. Cool. Okay. You want to give us a, we got the camera pointed inside the guts here, you want to yeah, so, give us a breakdown? Uh, we're really proud of the inside of this. Uh, what you're looking at, this is a 3,000 watt um, uh, commercial power supply. These are typically used in, uh, you know, servers, um, you know, in um, rack server rack arrays. Rack. Yeah, yeah. Ragnon server arrays. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, here's, uh, this is kind of covered up here, but this is the filter box. This has uh, all the big filters in it. Uh, and then this is where the uh, transistors are housed. So underneath that board are the two 1500 watt solid state transistors. Uh, so that's kind of the, just the, the real high level overview of the inside of this. Um, on the back of the unit, there's two um, uh, inputs and outputs. Um, so you can actually feed um, you know, two from the, the radio into here. And so this is how we support the SO2R operation. Gotcha, wow, really cool stuff. What's the, uh, there's, a, there's a screen that's on the front of it. What is the screen display? So the screen is primarily for diagnostics. So okay. it, has, it does have a power meter on it. Uh, it'll also display things like error messages and SWR and that sort of thing okay. on the front. Okay. Uh, it's a status uh, indicator as well. So it shows the status of the amp, whether it's in standby or operate, that sort of okay. thing. Okay. Uh, we also have LEDs uh, behind the handle here, yep. uh, which will indicate its current state as well. They'll turn red when in transmit, that sort of thing. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Awesome. Well, that's something else to put on the Christmas list that I'll have to give to my <laughs> wife later on. Yeah. So. Cool. Thanks, Matt. Appreciate right. it.